Hey boardies, welcome to Bass Games. My name is Simon, today I'm bringing you best of the month for April 2024. I've played lots of different games in this particular month. It's my biggest month ever of playing games, over 260 hours log plays already. This happens to be a two player game by GMT, very high quality opponents. This is called Sega Gahara. If you've seen the TV show Shogun, you'll know a lot about this because it's set in the same year. It's based on the actual events that happened in Sega Gahara in the year 1600, involving two different factions. You might even recognize some of the Mon or City jewels in it. Some people even look very similar as well. So this is a block game. It's the highest rated war game as well, specifically of the block genre. Hidden movement is a kind of way of playing this game whereby it's asymmetric. There's two different ways of winning, uh, designed by a billionaire by the way, whereby you're either trying to defeat your opponent's leader or maybe even conquer them by reaching their opponent's base and thus get the most points by getting the most castles and the most uh, trading posts. Castle's worth two points and you happen to get one point per trading post. So either getting points or defeating the opponent's leader or running over their castle is the way to win the game. It's a game that takes place over seven rounds. This was a seven week battle and you take two turns per week or per round as you want to define it. And you have various blocks such as these. I've got extra component boxes which doesn't actually come with the game. Uh, these are gold ones, again, nice high quality components. You might think it's a bit too abstract being just blocks representing 5,000 people each. However, I think it is uh, very thematic for how it does work. It does look great on the table. It's a lovely game to play. And even though it says two to three hours in the box, I, even with the teacher, I've got it down to under two hours for a first time player. Now they have already watched my how to set up plan review video, so please do Google Amass Games and Sekigahara to see how to play it and all the history about this because uh, I can tell you a little bit more about it. Basically there are these two guys who happened to be allies and then they happened to become enemies and then they kind of became friends again, but there was a power void and one of them was based in Osaka, which uh, was um, also called Tioka, was also Kyoto. Kyoto was the capital. You also happened to have uh, Edo, which became Tokyo, and Tokyo went on to, of course, become the capital of Japan. So uh, Edo, at the time, as it was called, uh, was a bit of a backwater place, but this guy within 10 years transformed it and made it obviously very prosperous, which the other guy thought would take him generations to do. So again, watch Shogun, uh, check this out. They talk about it in the final episode, which I'm so glad they did and they even show like a, a scroll at the end, which I thought, excellent, I really hope they'd show some form of letter because there's betrayal as well, so you're trying to yeah, outthink your opponents as well. Highly recommend checking it out. Like I said, it is a highly rated game. It's the fifth printing, the 2024 edition, and uh, yeah, I do recommend checking this out. It does say 2022 uh, two, two on the box, but it's actually 2024, this particular version as well. That's Sega Kahara. Again, speech again soon in the month of May, but for now, any questions, of course, do let me know in the comments are best. But like, subscribe, and the notification bell. For now, back to the table.